today uh, driving a couple hours south to uh, to look at and hopefully buy and pick up a uh, 2010 Yamaha R1 LE. It's a Valentino Rossi edition bike. They're getting pretty rare to find. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like when I get there. From the pictures, it looks not too bad. It's got a few uh, bodywork uh, blemishes on it, a couple of pieces of the upper fairing. Looks like they've broken away from a tip over. But uh, I don't think that'll be too big of a deal to get that repaired. Um, the other good thing is it seems to be coming with all of the original parts, uh, like the exhaust system. It's got an Akrapovich system on it now, and all the stock stuff. Uh, it looks like it's all there, I think, with the exception of the rear fender and the uh, license plate mount, which um, I, can, uh, I can pick one of those up off eBay, I'm pretty sure. So we'll, we'll see what it looks like when we get there. So here it is, the Valentino Rossi Edition R1. It's in the trailer. Got the deal done, and now we're heading home. Okay, so uh, we got the uh, Rossi R1 back at the shop, and we'll just do a quick walk around here so you can see exactly what it is we're gonna be working on and having to fix on this bike. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. She's a little tired. So she's fallen over at some point. It doesn't look like a moving fall, more like a tip over. So we've got a piece of the fairing missing in here. Uh, and there's a couple of cracks right up here. And then there's a missing piece of the upper fairing that goes right in here. So the plan for this is uh, we'll either plastic weld or use plastics to fix it. But in order to get the missing pieces, I've actually purchased a, uh, a replacement upper fairing uh, off eBay for, I think it was shipped out of the US to Canada. It was about $100. So I'm gonna uh, take, a, take the pieces out of it and graft them in here. Same with up there. And I'll get my painter to, uh, to fix that. Down here, uh, we got, this is kind of uh, punched punched through here, the support for this frame slider fits in behind here. And I guess when the bike fell over, it started to punch <clears throat> punch through. So um, that's gonna be interesting if I can get a replacement decal for this. <clears throat> Yamaha still lists them. I did order one um, and they said it's on back order for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm skeptical if they actually have it or can get it, but we'll see. Um, the dealer said they thought they were actually printing them on demand as opposed to having them in stock. So we'll see if that works out or not. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that's probably from the same tip over is if we look up here, you can see there's a crack right there. I've ordered one of these decals because um, I would prefer to paint, get the whole area blown in and put a new decal on as opposed to having my painter mask around the decal because end up with too much of a hard line there with the clear coat and then uh, right here there's a, a scuff uh, on the tail section as well so aside from that <clears throat> a couple of little scrapes on here one there one there one there um, I do have a line on I had the oil cap off there is a bit of oil there I do have a line on a new one of these uh, which has one of those on there. I have noticed when I start the bike, it does uh, rattle a little bit, especially with the clutch in. It sounds a little bit too much like a Ducati dry clutch. I read online that that's somewhat normal, um, but I gotta believe it's related to either a worn clutch basket or worn uh, springs or who you knows, maybe even broken uh, plates in there. But uh, that'll come off and we'll have to investigate as to what's going on inside there so aside from that uh, it's got a scorpio alarm system on it which doesn't seem to work um it does strange things when you touch the brake lever or or the foot brake i'm not going to do it now because it will turn the lights on and they won't go off and then you've got a monkey around to get it to go off and it's a complete pain in the backside but uh the other thing that happens randomly is the rear tail light goes on um, I'll show you in a second what we're going to do about that. So there are the rear tail light. Um, the way the alarm system is hooked up, there are there are certain wires that are T-connected, uh, those, those T-tap wire connectors that must be, uh, they go to the tail light and the signal lights and all of that kind of stuff. And this has an aftermarket tail light on it as well. But if I move the wiring in here, it'll do it now. 
probably won't. There we go. Probably monkey with the wires. It just kind of the lights like to flicker and then they stay on. And now if I leave it alone, now the tail lights are are on for no apparent reason except that there's something funky going on with the with this uh, with this T-tap connector right here. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is disconnect that. I don't need any dodgy wiring in here. Well, and then at some point I'll actually completely disconnect and remove that Scorpio alarm. So aside from that, the, this side of the bike is pretty clean. Um, it does have aftermarket levers on it. I'm gonna put the uh, set of original levers back on. Um, I kind of like the Akpovich exhaust, although I do have the original set of pipes here, which I might I might put back on, depends how uh, passionate I get about putting this thing completely back to stock. Um, but anyway, uh, aside from removing the alarm, I'm going to try to keep much of this uh, project uh, waiting for the winter. It will give me something to do and I'm not going to get into it too much this summer, but there we are. So the other, the other defect that I did find on this bike as well is um, this foot peg. Uh, the tip has broken off. Probably again all related to that same fall that the bike had or we call it a tip over or who knows what actually happened. But anyway, the bike went over and a number of things got damaged in the process. So I managed to find a uh, nice clean used set of rear sets that are on the way. So I'll just swap those out uh, when they get here. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on how things progress.